Hey, shout out Chiefs Kingdom, baby. You already know we came here to handle business. It was a hard fall, but hey, we finished, baby. Chiefs Kingdom, we out. Chiefs Kingdom, we here again, baby. Two, no, let's go. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode, please like the video and subscribe, our target is only a thousand likes. A wild game in Kansas City went down to the final play today as the Chiefs beat the Bengals 26-25. When Harrison Batka hit a 51-yard field goal, Batka's field goal represented the fifth lead change for the second half in a game that had plenty of mistakes, penalties and turnovers, but that turned into an exciting one. The Chiefs have now won two. The Bengals have lost two. Kansas City has to feel very good about where it's positioned in its attempt to get back to and win a third consecutive Super Bowl. Among the biggest mistakes was one made by Bengals wide receiver Jamaches, who got a costly 15-yard penalty in the fourth quarter when he screamed at the referee, thinking he had been a victim of a hip drop tackle. Replays clearly showed that Chase was wrong and the tackle was not illegal. I mean, the kid made a great play on the uh, the, the second pick, um, but. I'm glad we've, we played um, not as clean as we wanted to and still found a way to win. That speaks to the defense and the full entire team. Um, but obviously, we've got to clean up a lot of stuff on offense um, to, as we go forward. Matt, what, what the 16, can you explain what it feels like to be in that situation, what you're facing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, um, obviously they're going to get in that kind of fence defense at the at the sticks, and so my job is to buy time for guys to get downfield. Um, I was able to do that. Um, as I scrambled to the left, I saw Rasheed open. I knew it was going to be contested, but you got to put the ball up. Um, and Rasheed tried to do a great job of trying to get the ball. Um, I haven't seen the replay or anything, but I felt like the Duke Hank was, was there pretty early, um, and uh, we got the flag. Um, but, I mean, you got to give guys chances in those situations, and that's what, that's what we did. Uh, 100 percent. I mean, I, th I th until you don't have the time hit zero, I feel like there's a chance that you can win the football game. And um, obviously, we've done that in so many different ways. And so we're we're prepared. Um, we we come in with that mentality that if we get the football with the chance to win the game, we're going to do it. Um, and we were able to do that today. I mean, he's just he's just an absolute monster, man. I mean, like he just like his motor, um, the way he's able to rush the passer. Uh, I remember playing him in, in New Orleans, and he was like that. And he got the Cincinnati; he's been like that. Um, but um, he did a great job today, man. He, he's great against the run in the pass. Um, kind of an underrated guy. Um, but uh, I mean, it was a, it was a good test for us, and we'll get better for it. Yeah, I mean, just I mean, just keep playing, man. You're, they're not always going to have your perfect day. I mean, I didn't have a perfect day today. Um, but just like any other great player, you have to trust in your abilities. You have to learn from it. Um, you have to have that mentality. I'm going to come and get better uh, this next week. Um, but I have all the trust in the world um, that he's going to keep getting better and better and, and, and be a guy that I can really count on every single game. Last week and this week, what do you, what do you say from opposing defense to try to take Travis Kelsey? Yeah, I know. They're doing a great job of just kind of having two people for him. I mean, pretty much the entire game. Um, that's why you've seen guys like Rasheed and, and uh, Worthy. I mean, if you look at the first touchdown, I'm actually looking to Trav in the backside safety. goes all the way across the field to, to, to help guard Travis. And then you, and you throw the, the ball down the sideline to Rasheed. And that's kind of what they've been, they've been doing. And obviously, we've played two opponents. We've played a lot. Um, so they have, a, they have a plan on how they're going to account for Travis. Um, but as the season goes on, I mean, he's going to get his catches. He's going to get his yards. Um, but the, the leader that he is, is what's special is he's hyping everybody up. He's keeping everybody motivated. And that's it's usually two great teams that, you know, give it their all. So. That's usually a recipe for a pretty good game. You know, we felt felt good about the game plan. Um, I was seeing it well. We were protecting. Uh, you know, just didn't do enough to get it done. It was frustrating as as I've had. Um. I'm going to have to kind of think about that one a couple of days, and you might have to ask me that again on Wednesday. Can you tell us a little bit of what happened on the field with Jamar Chase when you were holding him back? Yeah, the uh, yeah I'm not really sure. I was just trying to de-escalate the situation. 
Um, there's something said that I'm not exactly sure what it was, but uh, you'll, have to have, you'll have to ask him. Show me what Andre did today with the tight ends. How much you guys need them? How much can that continue to help you guys evolve offensively? Yeah, we're going to need those guys, especially way teams are going to play us. You know, we need those guys to come up big in these situations, and you know, for the most part, they did. After missing the time you did, how did it feel to be back in the fight in that kind of moment against the team you like going up against? Yeah, it's nice being back playing ball, but you know this one stings a little bit. That drive, uh, the fourth and three drive, he had a you know he get out of the sack, he got the third and one conversion. It looked like the work in the gym kind of kind of paid off for you. In that yeah, I would say that's accurate. Is it is this the best you felt about the ball? Like going back to like how this thing is the best you felt about the ball? Since the injury, yeah. Yeah, I thought I played fast and decisive today. You know, obviously, I got to hold on to the ball. You know, that one was disappointing. Gifted him six points, so that was frustrating. Uh, yeah. We didn't do enough to win the game today, so you know we got a lot to fix. Joe, is there any message to the team to your guys? Since you've been in this spot before, you've dug yourself out of before. What's, what's kind of the message going forward? Got to get better. You went to the tight ends early and all day. And all day. Why? Why? Why was it? Yeah, that's kind of you know how they're playing us and kind of what I expected coming in. We knew they were going to double number one, uh, and so we needed. Those guys to step up, and you know they did. Why do these teams play each other as close as they do every game? Going back to especially once you come down to play, basically been exactly like this. Why do these teams play each other so well? They watch so much passion in this matchup. Big time players making big time plays. They made more today. Is the fumble the part that sticks with you, or is there something else you can think about? Um, yeah, there are a couple things. That one obviously really hurt us. So that was frustrating that I put us in that position. Somebody got to make a got to make a play. Uh, somebody's got to. Somebody's got to, and uh, they did, and we didn't. I didn't. Even, I didn't even know that. The uh, fourth and three, the Yoshi. Uh, looked like you were tying some time back there, and we just could he break off his route? Or was that yeah, he, he, he broke his route off early. That was an unbelievable job by him doing it so quickly, uh, understanding what they were do, trying to to defend and you know running the route to to beat it. So that was a big time play by him. He's done nothing to for me to not trust him. All he does is make plays in big spots and continue to get better and better and practice really hard and uh, know what he's doing. So he's going to continue to be a big part of what we're doing here. Hey, Joe, I know you rushed in to, to kind of make some peace with Jamar when he was talking to the official. Um, what were you thinking in terms of trying to get him back focused on what he needed in just trying to to de-escalate the situation, uh, you know. Hopefully, hoping that that you know, I'm not entirely sure what was said or who threw the flag, but uh, you know, usually, yeah. I'm, that was uh, that's all I got to say about that. It's tough to say. But. Yeah. So you hope to see this team again? If you enjoy these kind of matches, I know it's a lot today. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot before we talk about seeing these guys again in the postseason. We got a lot to, a lot of football to be played, and a lot of practicing to do, and a lot of improving to to go out and do. To that point, last week you said at least panicked so 
Very high. Thanks, guys.